Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I brought Mr. Brown in. Oh, hello, I'm from, <laughs> oh man, because I've got other things on my mind. I'm from Western New York, and I'm Nona Grace, and this is Mr. Brown. Where are you going? I don't want you up there, you might poop on me. <laughs> no, 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 come in. Um, I, had, I brought him in because MC... La Quasara? La Quasara? I think, I don't know how she says her last name. It's L-A-K-W-A-T-S-E-R-A. -A -E La Quasara? Maybe Sarah at the end? But anyway, she wanted to say hello to Mr. Brown, and Mr. Brown is saying hello. Mr. Brown. Hello, MC. Way. Hello. Hello. Look at your people. Yeah, there you go. There he is. <laughs> He's such a good boy. And I also got a question from Katie, uh, Lee's Arkansas Bound. She was asking how the roosting bar was working. You know, Katie, it's working really good. I, I had her outside all day. In fact, I'm going to put a little video in right here. Today I brought pretty girl, little lady outside so that she could enjoy some of the outdoor areas. I've got her in the baby gate with the fence as part of the gate so that she can kind of eat what she wants to eat, dig where she wants to dig, and maybe she can take a dust bath. I'm not sure what she'll do, or maybe she'll just scratch, try to scratch. It'll give her a chance to be a chicken. I hope you're seeing this okay through the fence. I have um, two fences there. I have the mesh fence and the wire fence. <laughs> there you go, little lady. Enjoy. I did put some shade there so that she has a little shade if she wants to get out of the sun. I had the little lady outside. And as you saw, she was in, um, it was through a fence that I had to videotape it because it's the only way I could, could get her. But um, she's been outside and she's been walking about seven, eight steps. She's going quite a distance now. And the roosting bar has been a really good thing because when I bring her back in, I put her on the roosting bar and she sits on that. She'll, she'll, she kind of, her feet don't seem to know where they want to go at first, but then she gets on it. And she stays on it for quite a while, so it's helping to strengthen her feet. That's what the roosting bar was supposed to be. And a lot of you said that it was nice that Mr. Brown spent time with the little lady in the playpen. Well, it's all good for now, but when Mr. Brown hits his, his adulthood, it's not going to be so good because, you know, <laughs> he'll want to sow his wild oats. <laughs> his hormones will be raging. That's for sure. So right now, he's just a little lover boy. He's cute as can be. And he gets to walk around in the room all day, pretty much. Today I had the grandkids, and so he was walking around all over in the room. And Paige comes back, and she says, Mr. Brown pooped. He pooped twice. And I said, okay, I'll get it. So I pick it up with the toilet paper. What do you see? And um, I put it in the toilet. He's pecking at me. He says, I need to peck your arm. You have a scab there. Yes, I do, but that scab's supposed to stay there. You're not supposed to peck at it. So today when I was fixing the place outside for for the little lady, I moved, uh, it used to be a mobile chicken run, chicken tractor. Kind of a chicken tractor. Kind of. And I took some of the chicken wire off the backside because I wanted to make it a two-sided thing. And then I thought, well, you know, maybe I should just put this over top of her to give her shade. Instead, I had a different thing over her. The battery is flashing. So I think this is the end of our video. So you take care, and I will see you all tomorrow. Yeah, bye. He's waving <laughs> bye. Bye.